Today I'm having a really cool drill for you and this is actually the first drill that I ever played and that I'm still playing today because it's very good for beginners, for amateurs, for advanced play and even for very good players because it has adjustable skill levels. And we're going to perform this drill, I'm going to explain you the rules and of course I'm going to show you in the top right of your screen where exactly I'm hitting and I'm going to talk you through what English I'm using. The setup is pretty simple, just put 15 balls on a table in a straight line and make sure the distances are approximately the same, it doesn't need to be 100% perfect. Now what you have to do is just clear the balls in a random order, uh, the only exception is you're starting with ball in hand and what is not allowed is to collide into another ball, for example this would be end of the run. Okay, let's set this up real quick again. So. Let's uh, imagine you're playing this drill on skill level number one. You have cleared all the balls. This means just the six ball and the cue ball are left. Those balls are all gone. Then you're setting every other balls up again and continue from here. This means you run 14 balls. You didn't make the six ball. Uh, the balls come out of the pocket. So it's a bit like straight pool. So the cool thing is you can do this endlessly. But if you're able to do this three times in a row, this means if you're able to make uh, 44 balls, then uh, you can switch to the next difficulty level, which is the same, but all you have to do is play it with eight ball rules. This means start with uh, just the solids or just the stripes, then uh, switch to uh, the solids or the stripes. This means, let's say we removed those three balls, those and those. So we were on uh, the stripes. Now we have to play the solids and at the end, the eight ball. Again, uh, the balls are set up. If you cleared every ball except for the eight ball and uh, if you're able to do this three times in a row, then of course you can switch to the next skill level. Well, I think there were more balls. Let's make it like this real quick. So what happens if you manage the, to make this three times in a row, then you're switching to the next skill level, which means now it's getting interesting. Uh, you have to play the balls in order and not in order from one to 15, but in order, this means from here, then this ball, this ball, this ball, all the way up towards uh, the seven ball here. Then all the balls are set up again, you're here, and then you're going the other order. So again, if you're able to do this three times in a row, then there is the next skill level at the same time at the most difficult skill level, which is playing the balls again in order from here to here. But if I'm starting on this side, I'm only allowed to play the balls into those three pockets. Of course, if I'm starting on this side, then I'm only allowed to play the balls into those three pockets. And I think we're going uh, to attempt this drill now. I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing, why I'm doing certain things, and of course, where I'm hitting the cue ball. All right, let's now perform this drill on the most difficult stage together. This means we have to start from this side, work our way down all the way to the 15 ball, and we're only allowed to use those three pockets. Of course, if you're a right-handed player, then go to this side and use those three pockets. That's a bit easier. But it's very important on this drill. Let me show you this after we shot this ball here with just right spin, by the way. It's very important to land above the straight line. This means here is the straight line. We don't want to be here. We want to be a bit further away because that way all we have to do is roll the ball in, use a touch of outside English, like here on this shot. And we continue with this for quite a while. Of course, if you're on this side here, well on the wrong side, then the problem is we're running into those balls. That's not what you want to do. What you of course could do is bring the cue ball just a tiny bit to this side. Let me show you how this would look. With another ball, let's pretend this is the cue ball. So, if we're just having a tiny bit of an angle here, all we can do is just draw a bit back. Having the same angle, just drawing back again. And then you can continue with this. But this is not what we want to do, because this requires a very accurate cue ball position. So let's continue from here. I think this was uh, pretty much how the ball was. And again, just following touch of right spin, it's much easier. 
And of course, you can be uh, on this side, this is the straight line. By the way, I got a bit too short. You can be all the way here and still have a shot. So your margin for error regarding your position is really huge. Of course, if you're down here, you have a really difficult shot. So you don't want to get too far down. Well, here I have two little angles. So of course, I could try to force the cue ball around, but this thing I think is a good point to transfer to the balls into the side pocket. This means if this is the straight line now, of course, now we want to be a bit on this side. So it's the same that we just did, being a bit on this side, stunning over for the nine, being a bit on this side and so on. So I'm going to transfer uh, into the side pocket now. Check the angle we have, and this looks pretty much perfect. I will uh, show you the straight line on the computer. So now I'm just trying to stun over. Getting a tiny bit of an angle. We did that very well on this shot. Oh, now we have a bit, this is the straight line, a bit too much angle. You see, just a, a tiny bit of other different cue ball placement would make things so much easier. That's why on this drill at this stage, it's very, very uh, uh, important to have a very precise cue ball control. I'm trying to hold this ball now. Don't bring it too far over. So holding it a tiny bit here by uh, playing as low as possible, soft and adding a touch of left spin, because that way I can aim towards here and the left spin throws the one ball a bit to the right. Turned out perfectly. Now I think we're in line again. And now we're in line again. Just doing the same over and over again. And now we ended up straight. So now is a good time to transition to the balls that you're playing into this pocket. This means again, this is the straight line. We don't want to be, of course, on this side because that way we're going towards here. We just again want to be a tiny bit on this side where we just can do the same that we just did with this ball, those balls here, just stunning over. So I think if I'm playing a stop shot, I'm not perfect. I actually have to draw a tiny bit back. You see the tiny cue ball movement. And again, we're in a very good line and are trying to do the same that we just did. Perfect line again, just turning over a bit. And here, by the way, it's not important uh, to have the tiny bit of an angle. You can also have more just like in the beginning that we had here. If you're here well on this side, all you can do is just roll it naturally in, go back towards here. Now I'm a bit in between, so here would be nice, or here. Now I um, only have three balls, so what I want, don't want to do is end on this side, because then it's over. So one more shot, have to decide. I think it's a bit too risky trying to hold it here, that's why I'm going two rails now. bit too much angle again but this is when you have to force the ball it's always more difficult compared to just rolling the ball so now I'm actually just trying to roll it in with maximum left spin here oh I think I need to hit a bit low Okay, and now what would happen is we're on the last ball. This means now we're setting up all the other balls and they are continuing going now from this side to this side and still play the balls into this part of the pocket. No, <laughs> not into this part of the pocket, into those three pockets, sorry.
All right guys, a really cool grill in my opinion, especially because every skill level can play this. And one thing, if you're really crazy, then you can have an additional skill level. This means, again, only those three pockets, but you don't play in order from here to here, but you play in order from 1 to 15. So you have to go a long ways with the cubo, for example, from the 1 to the 2 to the 3 to the 4 down to the 5. So this is <laughs> really difficult. but. If someone actually performs this drill on this difficulty stage, I would love to get a, a video from that. And maybe I'm also going to share it on my channel. So if someone can do this, let's say at least two times, this means 30 points, just send it to me uh, to this email address and I would love to see this. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this drill, uh, if you gave it a try, if you liked it, if you improved through my videos and drills and whatever I'm doing, uh, I would really love uh, or really be thankful if you could uh, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification because that way you get notified once I'm uploading new content and of course like this video and leave a comment. Okay, that's it for today guys. A huge thank you goes out to my sponsors as always, to my patrons and to everyone who's supporting me. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.